Hello everyone. If you are giving the IPM exam, which is an exam for an integrated course of BBA and MBA at prestigious institutes like I am Indore and I am Rohtak, then this video is a must for you. Today we have with us Mehak Khabia, who is currently pursuing her IPM from I am Rohtak. Mehak is also a six-year degree holder in Kathak and is an active blogger on LinkedIn. Hello, Mehak. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. So it's great to have you here, Mehak. And we would like to know from you how is the IPM exam and what we have to prepare for it. So just just of what is the IPM exam like? What is the portion? Okay, so IPM at is conducted by five IMs right now. Like five IMs uh, initiated that program. I am Indore. I am Rohtak. I am Jammu. I am Bodh Gaya, and I am Raji. And there are three exams. One of I am Indore. One of I am Rohtak and another is a JIP mat for I am Bodh Gaya and I am Jammu. I have given all the three exams and also IIFT uh, Kaki Nada also takes I am in their exams for the integrated program. Okay. So basically there are six colleges. Okay. And this is for BBA as well as MBA. It's an exam which you can give an up. Yeah, BBA course. plus MBA. Okay. So what is the portion for this exam? Yeah. So exam portion for uh, Indore was mainly quantitative aptitude and verbal ability, and for other exams it was it also includes logical reasoning. And for Rohtak and JIPMAT the paper pattern is fixed. Like in Rohtak there are for one twenty questions, one twenty minutes, forty questions each sections, and you can't switch sections. You can switch section between in Rohtak, and in JIPMAT same thing hundred questions, one twenty minutes. And you can switch sections, but in Indore you can't switch sections, and there are two sections of quantitative aptitude and one section of verbal ability. And question number is not fixed. Time is fixed to us, but question numbers varies. Like every year they change the pattern. Okay. So, so it, currently means, it's not fixed. Hmm. So for I am Rohtak, it is more like a speed-based test. I am Rohtak and JIPMAT, yeah. where you have to switch questions, uh, switch the sections, and try and maximize your score in whichever sections you are good with. Okay. And is there any sectional cutoff in, for this? Uh, in I am Indore, there is a sectional cutoff. In I am Rohtak and JIPMAT, there is no sectional cutoff. Okay. Like I am JIPMAT, JIPMAT, it could be a sectional cutoff, but that is very basic. You don't like it's not something. Hmm. Your um, chances are low because of sectional cutoff. If you have a good score, you can make it. Okay. So I guess uh, your quants was really good, where you had like. Almost six medal, gold medals that you have won in the maths Olympiad, as well as you have got a 99 percentile in quants. So, how was your preparation, and what all topics are asked in the IPM exam? Okay, so my preparation journey, uh, I had my quantitative aptitude strong from like starting. That was not a weak point. My weak point was verbal. So, for quantitative aptitude, I did Arun Sharma. Arun Sharma is a book for CAT. and i did two lods of it like there are three lods for actual cat level but for i met i did two i did it twice and i practiced mocks basic preparation for um, contra aptitude was this okay so the lod she is mentioning is the level of difficulty so in the arun sharma book there are three level of difficulty like there are exercises based on that so she had done first and the second level of difficulty chapters or questions And uh, what all chapters are asked yeah. mostly in quants? The questions which are asked are from which chapters? Uh, for um, IP Mat Rohtak and uh, JIP Mat, there is more of arithmetic, like basic max is more involved, and higher max is like very less. But mm-hmm. in Indore, higher max has a uh, greater advantage, like logarithm, algebra, etc. Functions. So okay. that makes uh, I am Indore exam level tough, more tough. So Mehak, uh, this was your uh, gap year when you had given IPM again after your twelfth standard. So would you like to give a contrast between how you had prepared when you were in twelfth and how you took after one year, how you went through the whole IPM process? The main thing I did wrong or the main mistake I did in the first year was not concentrating on verbal. My quantitative aptitude was strong as I mentioned, and I. Only worked on it. I didn't work on verbal. I was like, it would be grammar. Curry lenge it. Not a big deal. But English is something you have to work on. So that I did that in the second year. Majorly, the second time I prepared was uh, verbal. 
the my verbal preparation strategy was that i had completed word power made easy three times wow. you have to revise it like to remember it i did hindu editorials and like for six months i read it i noted the words down i, I maintained three dictionaries of uh, vocabulary india idiom phrases and confusing words and the words you got from editorials or uh, giving mocks the, when you analyze the mocks you would get that uh, options na options words and it is you would get it all so maintain the dictionary and uh, revising it daily mm-hmm. the main thing of verbal is vocabulary if you have a good vocabulary you can ace it and the third thing was uh, um, a reading comprehension i did two reading comprehension daily for almost 6 to 7 months and reading in the editorials would made it easy and I won't have that much time, and even I have no interest. But reading novels also makes things better. I didn't do it, but I'm doing it right now. Coming here after coming here, I have started reading. Hmm. And I guess that so, also that was the main three four things. Hmm. And I guess that also shows in your writing when you're writing your blogs on LinkedIn. I guess those are really showing that you are reading a lot of books, and yes, that helps. and uh, so this is one very good way of uh, preparing for verbal as she has mentioned where uh, you write down all the words that you come across during the mocks even not only the questions that are asked but also the options because the vo- uh, vocab words those are also there in the options as well so maintaining dictionary going through the hindu newspaper which is a very good one because it gives you different perspectives of uh, politics as well as economics and other news and apart from that just reading reading also helps in building your whole vocabulary as well as the way of you know speaking english so yes very good mahak you have uh, overcome that also, fear of verbal yes also hindu editorials help you in uh, the interview part because uh, general knowledge is asked basically so do you read editorials so you got knowledge of things mm-hmm. and like i have I had a you I saw a YouTube video and once a, like a, a cat topper told that if you want to prepare for verbal ability if you are reading for 5 plus 5 plus hours daily you don't need to do anything so reading is a very crucial part of doing preparing for verbal correct and even that helps you during the cat process as well where verbal is like 33% of the whole score and if you start building that habit from now it will get you good score in verbal and you won't have to worry about it that's good as well as uh, the exactly. word power made easy i guess that is by norman lewis that book you were referring yes so that's a book by norman lewis uh, which is very good it gives you the basic uh, origin words of some of the most important words of vocabulary that's a very good book i would recommend as well so mahak uh, what was your strategy of giving mocks and how many mocks did you give overall during your preparation so i overall gave 70 mocks including all three exams and 70 70, plus 70. mocks and my 7070 7070 <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> a nice one nice cool so okay, that's uh, enough number you should you you need not to give that many mocks but yeah i i was having time so i gave it no, and the main part is not giving mocks the main part is analyzing it as always said for starting of the few mocks i did Give mock for a two hour and then I analyze it five for five hours. Like it took me five hours to analyze it because oh. there are many mistakes in the starting. And as I mentioned in the verbal ability part, that you have to write the word, so it took time. Hmm. Okay. Writing, I maintained mocks, co- mocks copies all along. The mocks mistakes I made in which chapter I made mistake, and then revising it. Also, I gave sectional mocks, uh, chapter wise mocks for improving the chapters I am weak in. Hmm. and the main main thing is analyzing the mocks how good you analyze it and how you how much you learn from your mistakes that's the main thing huh? if you would give 50 mocks and wouldn't make any difference in the first and the 15 mock it won't make any sense correct so the strategy which she used basically was she maintained a mock book where every question that she found out to be different or new she maintained those uh, wrote those questions in the mock book as well as she gave a lot of emphasis on analyzing the mock because the person who is giving the mocks is yourself but if you don't find out what are your mistakes then there is no improvement so for improving yourself you'll have to analyze the mocks and yes giving 70 mocks is a very good feat that you have achieved i guess whoever is going for an ipm with a serious uh, mindset should try and achieve and give more mocks 
but at the same time make give an emphasis on giving analysis as uh, the also giving emphasis on analyzing the mocks as well and also don't wait for a preparation to be over to start mocks yes correct like you hmm. you your course won't yes. be over competitive exams course is never over hmm. start as soon as possible true that uh, because it is quite uh, late when you might as well finish with the whole portion but the syllabus is quite vast so it might be very late till then true okay oh. yeah so mahek how was your strategy and the experience during the exam day or the d day how was your experience like okay the my first of all strategy for every exam i have gave, gave in my life was not studying the day of the exam wow i did it night before then i won't open the book at the day of the exam hmm. and the you know going to temple ritual is fixed you have to go oh, that's so true. and uh, strategy for giving the exam would be different for all three exam hmm. because every exam needs a different version of your strategy like hmm. for indoor it would be more of accurate accuracy based okay correct because there is minus marking also in all three exams like plus 4 minus 1 okay so more of accurate based discussion because cut up won't go that much in indoor compared to rohtak because indoor paper level difficulty is tough and in rohtak it's more about how good you how much question you attempt like it was 120 questions in the exam and i almost attempted 110 something wow. hmm yeah and time management is the basic thing i it was my strategy to complete one question in one minute if it took, took more time i would go ahead okay and so, for gipmet i don't think so there is a time lag because it it is like 2.5 hours paper and there are only 100 questions so it is easy to do it's more like 99 percentile 100 percentile you have to target oh that's good so uh, when you say that uh, one minute for one question how would you go about like you would solve each and every question and you go about every question or was it so that you would switch directly or in between how was it uh for for rohtak i did like because in rohtak you have to attempt almost all questions so there is something question if which i don't know i would skip it but there would there will less chance of doing it in an indoor it was like you do which question you know better do it first and then move on it's not about attempting all the paper in indoor at least in indoor correct so, it's more about accuracy correct so indoor and also was less... one of my yeah, yeah. sure yeah yeah say it one of my strategy was that if if there are five questions you don't know and if you do five questions and at least you got one there would be no uh, marking like it would be plus 4 and minus 4 so won't make any difference but if you got two questions right there would be a plus one mark so taking risk would make sense rohtak it's a good strategy because uh, if it's a speed based exam and the cutoffs can vary a lot whereas i am indoor is lot of uh, the ipm exam for i am indoor is lot going to be more on accuracy like similar to cat where if you know the questions only then go for the answers and might skip a few who where you are completely un uh, unsure of okay so mahek would you like to say what was asked in the lr paper and what is the whole portion for lr logical reasoning is the logical reasoning is asked in rohtak and jipmet and that's easy i won't say that would be very tough it is moderate level and there are questions of like clock cubes directions etc and my my preparation strategy for lr was not much like i i had done i it is more of a logical reasoning and i play sudoku so my lr was good because of that kind of so it it but it could make a huge impact on the paper because if your lr is strong it won't make it would make difference in the marks Correct. you could you could score full marks in lr if you like you if, if you have practiced enough like it it doesn't require your much time and effort correct it's a bonus thing for my case and i would prefer that it is a bonus thing correct so it is like where you get questions from uh, blood relations and uh, cubes and uh, the yes. direction sense all these type of questions are asked these are very interesting to do so i guess if you have a very good interest in lr it is pretty much sorted and you can score a lot of marks in lr yes so now let's uh, get your experience for the interview process when you cleared the examination there is an interview process that is asked so how was your process like when was it started 
okay it would start like after most probably it would start after 10 to 12 days after the paper examination and you won't have that much time to prepare because once the interview calls are there you would have majorly four to five days to prepare okay so preparation would be done before of before only like before the paper it would go hand by hand and the major thing is portfolio you if you have a strong portfolio it would make a difference and if you don't have a strong portfolio it is not the case it's more about your personality test now they have checked you in the academic portion mm -hmm. so maintain a smile be confident the confidence level they will check they'll put pressure on you they'll they'll you know uh try to make you like you don't know anything but that's the point you have to be calm enough so hmm. um, majorly interview is based on academics of class 11 10 12th they'll ask you the questions of your stream and they'll ask you to draw graph solve ma mathematic questions uh, like differentiation and integration is not asked in any of the uh, competitive exam in all three ip mat but it could be asked you in the interview round oh and uh, general knowledge and also they'll give you a topic and you have to say something on that for two two minutes maybe like an extempore that yeah. extempore huh? maybe extempore they'll but they are good enough that depends on luck also you know, how good interviewers you got and that's so, yeah. true so uh on the d-day like uh, what all questions were you asked like so they are started with uh tell me about yourself something of that sort I give two interviews because um, either, like first year in the IPM at Rothak, they don't ask me the introduction and that was very bad interview I gave <laughs> and in the, uh, in the like this year only I um, they asked me the introduction it was good and also I gave the indoor interview I couldn't make it into it but yeah I gave the interview and they also they were also asked me the introduction so first to introduce Introduce yourself and then um, they asked me general knowledge questions like they uh, what was going on that was G uh, Ukraine and Russia. Hmm. So uh, they would ask you, they would ask your city questions, uh, India questions like uh, seven states of the India. Okay. Country questions okay. could be asked and then okay. uh, extempore, I don't remember okay. the topic. I think there was something of the banking sector. I couldn't remember it. And as I have cleared CA foundation, so they asked me the CA foundation questions like economics graph and oh. uh, law questions. That's all. Okay. So you and also uh, as I have my Yeah, go ahead, go yeah, ahead. I have cleared CA foundation. Yeah. Yeah, and they also asked me the Kathak thing because I have done Kit Kathak. So they asked me the history of Bharat Natyam because oh. of the classical dance forms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't remember that thing. I I know only of Kathak. I also prepared of Kathak, but yeah, they were uh, trying to that. Yeah, I don't know things. That's all. You have to be confident enough. Correct. So like they try and, you know, ask questions, which they might just make you feel uneasy at that time. So they want to know what is your real side because the questions that you have prepared is basically, they know that you have prepared those questions, but they want to, you know, ask you on those domains where you're not sure of. And that's when, you know, they get to know exactly. the personality they would, of that person. They would ask you your favorite subject and won't ask the questions of that subject. <laughs> yes. So this is part of the stress interview. But yes, it's a really uh, interesting one. And the thing which as Mehek has mentioned is to smile and be confident and give your best shot. Don't forget, don't worry about the things that are going to happen in future, but just give your best at that time. Yes. Good, Mehek. Uh, so. So Mehak, uh, after going through this rigorous process of giving the aptitude test, then giving the interviews, how has been your experience at I am Rohtak? So the one very cliche word of saying it would have been an amazing experience. And to describe it, so like starting one month or maybe you can say one first term was really tough. Like from coming from a drop year and to such a hectic routine, it was very, very tough because the environment adjusting in the environment and the weather climate also there are there is extreme weather climate here like mm -hmm. if currently from, from today we are attending classes in two degree oh god <laughs> two degrees hmm. or two, two to four degrees are the, is the temperature in the morning from eight up eight to nine so yeah uh it was tough in the starting but now it's fun like it's going great there you got to go uh, know very diverse personalities the peer group is very very good i mean the best thing about here is the peer group you got to learn much from them very talented honestly very talented oh, that's nice and, and the campus is beautiful, very beautiful <laughs> campus 
Yes, the Amrata campus is very beautiful. And uh, the peer groups, you get to learn from them because they are coming from a very different background where they add their own experiences and you learn a lot from them. And uh, anything exactly. apart from that, the academics part, how is the academics part? Oh, the curriculum is very good. Like we have three terms. Every term has seven new subjects. So very diverse curriculum. You could learn many subjects from sociology, philosophy, mm-hmm. English. Curriculum is actually good. You you have a very bright prospect of things. So you could like you could uh, do, go, get exposure of many subjects. So you could choose yours after a three year course. Hmm, that's good. As well as like this is the whole preparation for being a business person in the future. So yes, that's exactly. a very good one. And uh, so how did this thought of writing a blog came to your mind? I mean, I have been following a lot of blogs of yours and it was really mesmerizing to read all those. Those are very intellectual, I felt. So how has this thought come to you? Okay, so there's nothing planned about blogging. I did it from like, you know, start from starting, we are having a very hectic schedule deadline. So I started writing for uh, relaxation and for like self-love, self-time purpose, that's all. It started by then and then I just posted one thing on LinkedIn. Then it create it it goes with the flow. I have never uh, anything prepared or planned about it in the starting months. And then it goes, then I uh, create writing content and freelancing would add. There were clients coming and it just gone by then. And recently I've completed 2000 followers on LinkedIn. That's great. So. Yeah, that that go that goes with the flow. Nothing prepared, and I mostly post about college content that the college students and the teenage group would relate from sixteen to twenty two. That's all. That's good. So yes, I have been reading a lot of blogs of yours, and they are really inspiring. I'll also uh, mention the site for reading your blogs on the description box. You can read uh, if you are if you go through them. There's a lot of interesting things that she has written, and I found that very fascinating. So yes, uh, so that's all about our talk today. And if you are giving IPM exam or if your younger sibling or cousin is giving an IPM exam, you should definitely forward this video to them. And it was a great pleasure to have you here, Mahek. It was a very learning experience for me as well. And all the best for your future. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was a great experience for me too.